Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy, fantasy novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're going to be talking about the spell Lightning Arrow. All right, Sam, you want to start with what it does or your initial sad thoughts? I'll tell you what it does. All right, and then audience, you can tell me what spell level this should be. Uh, next time you make a ranged weapon attack, it's a bonus action. So this is like Condor Volley or um, Hail of Thorns in that regard. You spend a bonus action. Next time you hit something, you get a thing. Um, you make a weapon attack. The hit creature takes 48 lightning damage uh, and half as much of a miss. And then everything within 10 feet of the target takes 2d8 lightning damage. There is no other text to the spell. It does The, the weapon doesn't do its normal damage, just as the 48 instead. Uh, and it always has 2d8 in the area of around it. This could be a second level spell, but it's not. This is a third level spell. Even if it was a second level spell, I'd be like, oh, I don't know that. I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, Lightning Arrow is a third level spell. Uh, and you get this at ninth level as a ranger. Yeah, I really don't like the, the spells that do damage in lieu of the ammunition. You know, just give me, give me the measly little arrow damage as well you know if i built my character to shoot things and i can't use any of the things that shoot things features i don't want to do the thing anymore i like i 48 damage and 1d10 plus 10 plus dex those are going to be kind of similar numbers anyway so you're not really getting anything out of the front half of this effect and then you're just spending 2d8 lighting damage in an area around it the notably this is important i, I didn't save this inhale or i uh, didn't say this uh, prior because it didn't would it matter here's what's the important caveat here sage of ice talked about it the creature that you hit with the lightning arrow isn't taking the bonus 2d8 damage either. It's everything else within 10 feet of the creature you hit. So the thing you're hitting is only ever taking a maximum of 48 damage. You're not getting like 68 damage onto it or anything like that, um, which takes a generous interpretation that would make a bad spell slightly better and just like, nope, cut that right off at the head. Uh, this only is ever doing 48 damage to something, um, which is bad. It's bad. It's bad. Now, yeah, you, you compare this to lightning bolt. Why exactly? Because lightning bolt is a lightning arrow is you shoot it and it seems like a crackling bolt of lightning, right? That's kind of the imagery that it, uh, it would announce. It is generous for me to compare it to lightning bolt because whenever you compare it to fireball, you're just like, oh, uh, at least lightning bolt has like a line and hits similar ish areas. Fireball is hitting twice this area. I'm sorry, more than twice this area, right? Because it's a 40 or tw it's a 40 foot diameter as opposed to a uh, 20 foot diameter. So like way bigger area, twice the diameter, but it's enormous area um and on top of that clear, like, though uh rangers don't get lightning bolt right? they don't get lightning bolt nor do they get fireball yeah but other characters did four levels ago yeah <laughs> so this is something that you're getting four levels later that it costs you the same resource cost as the lower level character or as the full casters um and is doing less than it's doing half damage to one creature sometimes and less than a quarter damage to the rest uh yeah that's not great like lightning bolt at least it hits us it hits a line and that line is more narrow granted but at least you can like get more things into it and you're doing over like double the damage or over double the damage this is pitiful amounts of damage you could like you could take the first level hail of thorns 1d10 isn't so much less than 2d8 that i'd be disappointed in it and it's two spell levels lower than this two and it also does the bonus damage to the creature you hit with it so like if you're using a longbow if you're doing a D8 plus, let's say you have a plus four dex, D8 plus four, you're looking at a reasonable amount of damage. It's like 2D8-ish damage for just your regular longbow with nothing else attached to it. You're forgoing that damage to maybe do 48 lightning damage, and you're spending a third level spell slot to do 2D8 in the area. When you could just be spending a first level spell slot and doing a D10 in the area and a D10 bonus to the thing. I don't see it. This is an almost meaningless upgrade. You could cast a second level Hail of Thorns and do more damage than this in the area. That's how bad this spell is. <laughs> But Sam, you can also upcast this spell. Oh, can you? Can you? <laughs> a bonus DA damage. How exciting. I can't wait for you to do a 13th level and be like, hey, hey guys, check out my 5d8 single target damage spell. Oh, dear. <laughs> my, uh, my favorite line in the text here is the last one before the upcasting. Hmm. It's, uh, let me, let me find this. It. It yes, the piece of ammunition or weapon then returns to its normal form. It's just a a reminder, like, hey, I didn't do anything. 
the spell. And plus, I'm over here. You can't use yeah. me now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Pigs of Ammunition is now far away and no longer a cool lighting arrow. There's no markings or anything of it. At least you pointed out before we started recording, at least the ammunition isn't incinerated. Like, at least the ammunition, you get it back sometimes. Yeah. I guess that's an upside. It's embarrassing. Uh, the spell should be embarrassed. Or you just you just armed the person that you were attacking. Because <laughs> you probably didn't kill him. Yeah, uh, this year play, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, this is a spell you don't ever upcast. This is a spell you don't ever take. Um, this is, I think, the most egregious of the upper level, wow, those numbers don't add up, uh, of the other spells. Like, you have to spend one of your attack rolls to do this effect. And it does so much less that it is worth. Uh, yeah, not it. Don't take this spell. Uh, however, listeners, I, uh, if, if you feel differently, I'm looking forward to hearing your comments in the mm -hmm. section below. But uh, I don't know. How... I will come out and even you say this. Impressed. Hmm? So normally... I have a pretty, I have to add like caveats to these kinds of spells, right? Because, oh, you're a ranger. You don't have better air effect damage. I guess you take what you can get. If you're at a table with no full casters, this might be good. No, because at a table with no full casters, you still have hail of thorns. And that still hits the same area and does more damage for a lower level slot. Yeah. There's no reason to cast this. This spell is a mistake. All right. It trashed people with its coolness, and it's like, yeah, shoot a lightning arrow. That's going to be so cool and awesome. Big crackling lightning electric. And you're like, oh, that was something. Yeah, was something, all right. Um, you got a you got a score for this one? Yeah, mm -hmm. cannot argue with you from there. All right, well, that was uh, that was lightning arrow. I don't think there's a whole lot else to say about it. No, it's Thanks. bad. Don't take it. All right. Thank you, Sam. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it, a gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell and other fun things.